Would you like to try our new snack? <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Mommy, please buy me lots of these chips. Did you oh. know what happens if you eat too many chips? No, Dr. Hoot. I'll explain it to you. Let knowledge click. Chips are super tasty. When you eat them, you just want more and more. Do you know why? Chips have lots of salt and fat, which make you taste but super excited. When you eat them, your brain makes dopamine, a happy chemical that makes you love the taste and want to eat more. Even the crunchy crunch sound is fun and makes you want to keep chewing. But eating too many chips isn't good. First, they have too much salt. Too much salt can raise your blood pressure and make your heart work harder. Second, chips are fried in a lot of oils. That oil can make you gain weight, get a big tummy, and feel unhealthy. No wonder people who sit and snack all day are called couch potatoes. Third, chips make you crave more, like being addicted. After eating lots of chips, you might skip healthy foods. Over time, your body can miss nutrients and get sick easily. No. So. Only eat snacks once in a while. Every day, choose fruits, yogurt, nuts, or bread. They'll keep you much healthier. I got it! Snacks are yummy, but too many are not good. I'll pick healthy foods to stay oh, strong yum. and healthy. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> You shouldn't oh. drink that much mm. water all at once, would you? Did you know why we shouldn't do that? Let knowledge click! Water is a very important part of our bodies. Water makes up about 60 to 65% of a child's body. Water helps cool down our body and lower the temperature when we get too hot. Water also delivers nutrients to our organs and helps the body work properly. Water helps our joints more easily, like oil helps the machine run smoothly. When we drink water, it goes into the stomach and then goes down to the small intestine. From there, water gets absorbed into the blood vessels and then go straight to the kidneys. The kidneys work like the body's filter, removing extra waste. When there's too much water, they had to work much harder to keep up. That's going to make you need to pee a lot. No! Oh no! If your kidneys get overwhelmed, your body will try to get rid of the extra water in other ways, which can make you feel nauseous. We shouldn't drink too much water at once. It's better to sip it throughout the day. Each person should drink about 5 to 8 glasses of water a day, which is around 1.5 to 2 liters. I got it! Oh no! 
<laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Looks like Lucy just had some coffee. Don't you know what happens if kids drink too much coffee? Let knowledge click! Coffee contains a substance called caffeine. It can make us feel more awake and alert. When caffeine enters the body, it blocks the sleepiness chemical in the brain. Making the brain oh. more active Like flipping on a bright oh. light switch in your head Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wow! So that's why my dad often drinks coffee in the morning when he works But drinking oh. too much coffee isn't good for your body Especially for kids Coffee gives your brain a boost Whoa. that isn't natural. Ah. At first, it makes you feel really full of energy. But caffeine keeps Ooh. the brain tense, which can make you feel tired and harder to concentrate. It can also make your heart beat faster, leaving you feeling uneasy and restless. Coffee can also cause stomach aches, shaky hands and legs, or even make you very dehydrated. Besides coffee, kids under 12 should avoid drinking with caffeine like energy drinks and tea too. What are we going to do with her now, Professor? <laughs> First, give her plenty of water to flush out caffeine faster and reduces its effects on the brain and heart. We can also give her a light snack, especially foods rich in fiber or protein, to help <laughs> slow down the absorption of caffeine in the body. Oh. Oh. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> ah. hmm. oh. <laughs> why am I still hungry? Even though I already ate. Do you know oh. why you feel hungry, Wolfu? Ah. Hmm. Let knowledge oh. click. After we eat, our body digests the food and sends the waste down through oh. the intestines. Wow. But when the tummy oh. starts to get empty, a special hormone called motilin shows up. Motilin makes the stomach and intestines squeeze and move, creating those grumble grumble sounds you just heard. <laughs> this sound is the signal that your tummy is empty. Is that why I feel hungry and want to eat right away, Professor Who? Hmm. When the stomach is empty, ghrelin, or the hunger hormone, sends a message to the brain. Time to eat. The brain hears it and alerts you. That's why you feel your tummy empty and wants to eat right away. Not only your tummy, your blood can tell your brain you're hungry too. Our body needs energy and things like sugar, fatty acids, and amino acids to run, jump, learn, and play. When the amount of these nutrients in the blood gets low, the brain reminds us again, eat so you have more energy.
But sometimes we feel hungry not because our stomach is empty, but because food smells yummy. Or just because we're bored. So being hungry isn't just from an empty tummy. It's also because of hormones and the brain. <laughs> then I'd better eat now, or my tummy will bother the whole class. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.